Hi, I'm Janika Ruuska, and I'm studying neuroscience at the University of Helsinki here in Finland. In the episodes of Future Neuroscientist, I'm sharing my study journey. Basically, this means that once in a while I'm sharing the topics related to neuroscience, but also the life while I'm studying neuroscience. Since it's my birthday, I will share 30 plus 30 things, because I'm turning 30. So enjoy today's episode. So I'm turning 30, and I don't have age crisis. Is that word in English? At least in Finnish we have the word for that. Ikäkriisi. And I don't have it. Kind of way I might have it. It depends how you look the thing. But in my case, I'm not kind of worried that I'm turning 30. It's not about the numbers. I'm not feeling old. It's more like that there have been a lot of huge processes ongoing. For example, I have thought what to do with my life. I have thought that I should enjoy more about my life. And I have also thought how I have changed. Because there has happened a lot of change. It's not the magical like first I'm 29 and then I sleep night over and then I'm 30 and then things just changed. But what I say that this year has been full of these processes. And this, uh, what I will do with my life, is kind of that I'm starting to realize that I don't have time forever. So I have thought for what I should use my energy, how I would like to change the world. Is there something how I can do this place better place to live? So kind of how I would do impact and actually use my energy for that because I'm not here forever. This kind of way sounds sad, but it's not. It's just a process. So that has been one thing. And the other thing is the enjoyment, as I mentioned. So I'm really work-oriented person and I enjoy about that. But also it is important to live. Enjoy the life. Because otherwise it will be that I will just perform the whole life and I don't want to do that. So I need to have the balance in my life in every aspects. And um, finally, yeah, how I have changed That's pretty interesting. So I think we are not ever ready. We are all the time developing ourselves if we allow us to do that. But it's also interesting to reflect back. What are the things which have changed? And maybe one of the biggest thing what has changed is that I don't care. I care, but I don't care. So yeah, I care a lot of things, a lot of people. I care the nature and the world. Yeah, so I care that I'm a good person, but I don't care if everyone doesn't agree or doesn't like me. If I compare that to previous self, like the younger me, I did a lot of things which kind of crossed my own boundaries to please others. And that I'm not doing anymore and I'm not feeling bad about it. It comes more naturally. I don't need to think about it. Yeah, but so that's about it. Um, Today I want to share 30 things about myself just because I will share 30 advices and I think it's better to first share 30 things about myself so you know who am I and how I process things, what I have experienced, so then you can decide if you want to listen to my advices or not. Yes, I will share some advices, 30 of those, and I will not explain those. I love explaining things, but this time I think it's better to tell the advices, you take them, you may process them or leave them out if those doesn't sound good for you. And if something comes to your mind, some question, or you want to share the things you have learned, please let's have a discussion in the comment section, because I really love interaction. All right, so let's get started with the 30 facts about me. These will be really random facts, really random. Get prepared. All right. One, I'm curious. Two, I care about people. Three, nature is the place where I can clear my mind. Four, when I'm doing climbing, I can think anything else. And that's one thing I enjoy about it. Five, I have a lot intelligent people around me. Six, I have traveled into 30 different countries. Seven, I enjoy leading people. Eight, I have really, really strong opinions if I have enough knowledge. Nine, I'm often wondering bigger life questions. Ten, I have three siblings. Eleven, I have lived in Hong Kong and soon I will move abroad again. Twelve, I have done arts as a hobby for years when I was younger. Thirteen, I have moved over ten times. Fourteen, I love music but I'm not musical at all. Fifteen, I hate 
running, but I still do that once in a while. 16. I'm really emotional person, and I would say I'm emotionally intelligent person, but also I like find solutions and be really rational person. 17. I'm sending letters with my grandmother and I love the stories from her childhood. 18. I have extremely analyzing mind. 19. This is really important. I'm more dog than a cat person. 20. I'm not master at cooking, but I'm really good at baking. 21. I have done gym around 8 years. 22. I have been in long-lasting relationships few times. 23. I have worked in breast cancer research. 24. I have gone through bigger changes with my body and with my mind, which I have worked through. 25. I would say I'm a really trustworthy person. 26. These are really random. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so 26. My left leg is almost completely tattooed. 27. I love experiencing new things. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad. 28. I'm highly, highly, highly organized person, but I can accept if you are not. 29. Okay, this is not a surprise if you have followed me, but anyways... So I'm biotech engineer, sexual counselor, and currently I'm studying my master's in neuroscience. And finally, 30. Even though I'm able to talk in front of huge audience, every time I do that, I got really, really, really nervous. It's like two seconds before the speech and my heart just starts to pump extremely fast. All right, so these were the facts about me, really random facts, and now you can decide if you want to hear which kind of advices I have offered to you. So I was collecting these advices, just what came to my mind, and I think these are just collection of my thoughts based to the experiences I have had in my life, and I have done mistakes, and I have learned from those. Yeah, I think these are based to those. And I wish that you really pay attention what kind of thoughts arises when I'm telling this. So let's get started. Number one, sleep enough. Two, eat healthy, including flexibility. Three, life is not so serious. Four, show you care. Five, chase your dreams. Six, say aloud that you love if you do. Seven, value and enjoy nature. 8. Accept you will not be ready ever. 9. Challenge yourself. 10. Share your ideas. Talk those aloud. 11. Actually do things. Commit to do things. 12. Ask help if needed. 13. Always reflect things. 14. Don't make things just for please others. 15. It is just your body while it's also your amazing body. 16. Learn to listen the signals of your body. 17. Take your supplements. 18. Dare. 19. Move your body in a way you enjoy. 20. Wear a lipstick while hiking if you want. 21. Read less but process the things you are reading. 22. Experience the world. 23. Feel. 24. Reshape your needs and boundaries if needed. 25. Make things together. 26. Give time to yourself. 27. Feed your creativity. 28. Accept the idea of failing. 29. Have plans, but don't plan everything. And 30. Wonder. So here it was today's episode. 30 facts with 30 advices. This new year as a 30 years old will start with big adventure and I'm super happy and thankful that I can share this journey with you. I will release what kind of adventure will start on the next time so remember to subscribe the channel. See you on next time. Bye!